Hi everyone, and welcome to my SR 2008 season mode. Or 24 7 mode. We have just done a forgiven. And, uh, get the hell out of that match. Or at least pay the shit out of that is really. And, uh, let's see what awaits for us on Raw. Okay. Oh, that's King Buffer. We are just over two weeks away from the Royal Rumble. Hello again, everybody. It's your Mark T. Love, friend, and old J.R. Jim Ross, and the Hall of Famer, Jerry the King Lawler. Yes, we are at ringside, and Raw has been rocked on the revelation that our champion has been plotting against Mr. McMahon. Why I can't believe that he was stupid enough to try and sabotage the WWE chairman like that. And to make matters worse, he apparently recruited Mr. McMahon's own children for the conspiracy. I don't know what's going to happen, but I promise you, hell has no fury like Mr. McMahon. Oh, I'm not afraid of Mr. McMahon. I'm Randy Gordon. He can go suck heat like a bitch he is. Many have called him the uncrowned king of SmackDown. And tonight, he's taking on the champion in this non title no disqualification match. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he's got some raw royalty backing him up, too. If I had any sympathy for our champion, I'd feel sorry for him. I'm not. Cause tonight I'll beat their ass. Now the champion is nervous about this match. He's not letting it show. How could that be? He's facing arguably the two greatest superstars. <laughs> I'm not afraid of them, Jerry. No, 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 no. It is time to kick on. Our champion is like going here. I'm the best. Brother, yeah. I think he's looking for a weapon, JR. Walmart. Well, table time. Table time. Table butter, Jenny Tan. Table butter, Jenny Tan. Ah, gosh, no. I feel that yeah, it's got hit in the face. You can look at any professional sport you want, JR, and you won't find more incredible athletes. He's bringing a hammer down, JR. He sure is. And the longer he holds that sledgehammer, the uglier it's going to get. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Yeah, yeah. Can you look at your own finisher, JR? He's feeding off the energy from this domestic crowd. He's unstoppable. You can't ever count on these fans, JR. They're people. They'll abandon you in a heartbeat. A reversal. Jenny kept on the right side and thunderous blow from that sledgehammer. Man, I can't believe what I'm seeing. He used his opponent. Again? Okay. <laughs> Down that sledgehammer. We will be looking at a pitfall here, folks. Look at this. Look at this. You talk a lot of house of fire, but you pull a slumber rocker of a shot with that sledgehammer. That'll rearrange your facial features for sure, JR. Oh no! Look at this! He's got the band of Abandon King, and his opponent had better watch out! Oh, sure! Now the fans start to cheer for him. Now that he's in the driver's seat, look out! He's setting up his opponent! There we go! Night, night, Booker. What? The 
are you surprised? He just lost the match, and I'm sure Mr. McMahon's not going to be too happy with it. And we've seen in recent weeks what happens to superstars who get on Mr. McMahon's bad side. Yeah, it's pretty much the end of their careers, if they're lucky. But it seems as if the champion has survived Mr. McMahon's wrath here tonight. For the moment, JR. But only for the moment. This is going to get a lot worse before it gets better. Yeah, yeah. Conspiracy against us at man in place, so it's entirely. So we can show them the last time behind it. It's Brandy Orton. Rather, shock a revelation. As it already seems like Tim Stephanie were the one who, at the time, in motion, however, is an irony leadership role that blame Brandy Orton. Are you cheering in the world, Mr. Man? This is surprise. I threw somebody to my own lack of us saying, watching on your own father, I think it's a I believe them, and they stay ready on this box or pattern. I vow to make him pay for this trail. Ooh, I'm ready for you. Yay! Well, looks like we got ourselves a little no disqualification match this week. Alright. Just so I don't get lonely out there, I think I'm gonna bring a pal of mine from SmackDown to keep me company at ringside. See you out there, champ. It'd be a very weird. I'm sorry, I'm actually gonna do two in one. So sorry, guys, but I gotta do this. The Royal Rumble is just over one week away. Hi everybody, this is Oklahoma's own Jim Ross. Here with the King of Memphis, Jerry Lawler at ringside. And tonight, our disgraced champion is in another no disqualification match. That's right, some real raw royalty. And I'm not talking about me. Mr. McMahon has gone to great lengths to stack the deck against the champ. He hasn't even got started yet. Mr. McMahon's going to take his time and enjoy this. Already, man. You talk about ruthless aggression. These superstars have been going after each other. They're not 
not playing with kid gloves, that's for sure. We knew we were going to see a heck of a match, but this might turn out to be... So, go ahead and say it, JR. All right, I will. I think if you root around under the ring long enough, you're bound to find a weapon of some Is yet. Uh, yeah, I didn't think that's so far. You can look at any professional sport you want, Jay. Oh, that's right. You won't find anything you can do. He's just showing up for the crowd now. He's first in the match his way. And I think it's going to pay off, mark my words. What a vicious chair shot. That chair was never meant to be used like that, Jay. Oh, in my eyes. Bye guys, have a nice watching. Bye.